get into our guests because uh, speaking of Monroe date nights, a couple weeks ago, Frank and I were at the Franklin Court Grill and uh, we were sitting out at the courtyard by the fountain and we had the pleasure of hearing a wonderful singer-songwriter, Tracy Simpson. And uh, Tracy is with the Southern Songwriters Association. She has original music. She also does covers. And uh, so on her break, I approached her and said, hey, would you like to be our guest on the Fun Wednesday Morning Show? And she said she would. So good morning, Tracy. Good Welcome. Good morning, Heather. Good morning, John. Thank you for having me. It's an honor to be on Fun One Radio. I've been telling everybody all week that um, it was my dream as a child to be on the radio. Um, never thought it would actually come true. So Aww. thank Thank you. Thank you for making the 10-year-old Tracy very happy. Oh, well, that makes me happy to hear that. So do you have friends tuning in today? Oh, yes, absolutely. Hey, everybody. Hey, everybody. We're so happy to have you. Thank you. And I have to share a story with you. Okay. Because this was so interesting. You know, as I just said, we like to do these date nights in Monroe. We like to walk around and, yeah. you know, patronize as many of the places downtown as possible. Right. So, so on that particular night, this was just a, a few weeks ago, we had a lovely dinner at Franklin Court Grill. And um, as we were wrapping up dinner, you were doing an Eagle song, mm. Peaceful, Easy Feeling. Okay. So we were list- your voice is, you know, in our heads as we're walking down the street. We walk into Dean's Place, a courthouse south, pour beer and wine, and Jack Fontana is playing Peaceful, Easy Feeling. Oh, that's happened. And it was so bizarre because mm-hmm. it, wherever you left off with the song Jack had picked up, Mm-hmm. And it was almost like one continuous Eagles song <gasps> what a moment. walking down the street of Monroe. It was really cool. You know, I can make this even more more Twilight Zone. Okay. The last time I was playing Franklin Court Grill, I was playing a song, and um, the Mike Strauss band was playing right across the street at... Um, oh, the, East Frank Superette? Yeah, at East Frank yeah. Superette. And as soon as I stopped playing, I could hear the music wafting over from there. They were playing the same song. That... Tracy. What? What? You Maybe. know what that means? I need to diversify my set. <laughs> no, no. It means you're psychic or something. You're tapped into the universe. <laughs> yes. I like to think so. But it was just very cool. Isn't it? It was very cool. And I, I loved both of you Who did a better job? I was just going to say, I love both of y'all's renditions. Oh, good. They were both excellent. They were both different. Well, you know, people love eagles. I mean, the harmonies are fantastic. It's just a shame I didn't have anybody to sing harmonies with me that day. Oh. But, uh, yeah. So along those lines, uh, who is your favorite band to cover? Because you do a lot of great covers. Ooh. You also, I know, have original music, but um, we enjoyed hearing the Eagles from you. Is there another band that you like well, to do? I perform in a duo called TNT with Tom Rita, and he and I do a lot of, of covers. We do Simon and Garfunkel. Oh, nice. Tom Petty, some Beatles, some Doobie Brothers. Oh, I love the Doobie Brothers. A couple of Eagles songs. Um we like to end the night in On the Road Again from Willie Nelson. Oh, classic. <laughs> it feels right. Um, but yeah, but that's just classic rock stuff. But when I play by myself, um, I don't really have a band that I that's to go to. I try to do a, a pretty wide, diverse set. Um, I, I could do a Lizzo song, and then a couple of minutes later, I'll be doing you know Patsy Cline. So, oh, I love that. You never know what you're going to get. You never know me. what you're going to get. I really don't. <laughs> Wonderful. So let me ask you, can you can you share with us a little bit of your musical journey, how you sure. started and who your musical influences were growing yes. up and all that good stuff? Well, I've had a kind of a twisty road. Um, I was I'm a kid of the 80s. And um, so I was a big fan of listening to listening to the radio. And um, I found, you know, 80s pop music to be my thing, not not the not the general pop music i liked things more like the cure mm. and and i don't know howard jones was a big thing and in excess and duran duran i guess for a little while um so you dev- you don't know how those influence influences creep into your music as a singer songwriter um but then as an adult i got to you know my tastes expanded right um i was introduced to bluegrass and classic country and i learned a lot about classic country from watching the history of country music documentary from ken ah, burns on pbs and that yes. that was quite literally a life changing experience um it it inspired inspired me to write my first song 
um, just it, and the song pretty much wrote itself <laughs> after wow. watching that. Yeah, so, Don and I actually talked about that I know, documentary. I, was, I think it was last week. Were you tuning in? Yeah, I was tuning in, and you were talking about my story. Yeah, <laughs> we did. We, we we like to give people kind of a heads up of who's coming on. Yeah, so. and I appreciate that. Absolutely. Thank you. So yeah, um, I I like to go I, I, for fun um i usually go and support all of my fellow musicians and go see them live around town but also i like to incorporate music into my free time and my vacations i i like to go on the kayamo cruise um nice. which is a music cruise that happens once a year i, I go to merle fest every year when i can um so is merle fest in merle's inlet where's merle no, fest? merle fest is in north wilkesboro north carolina oh it's been going on since 1988, and it's named after Doc Watson's son, Merle Watson. Oh, interesting. Who passed away at a young age in a farming accident, and oh, they've been wow. having an annual uh, event uh, to honor him ever since then. Oh, my gosh. That sounds like a wonderful event. Oh, you should hear it. They they attract all sorts of wonderful talent. They had the Avett brothers on a few weeks ago. Love them. It's once a year. And yeah. They were a headline act. Marcus King was a headline act. Oh, my gosh. Um, yeah. That that sounds like a fabulous. Randy Carlyle a oh, couple years wow. ago. Wow. Yeah. You and you've been go. doing this every year for how long did you say? I missed this past year. Okay. Um, but I've I've only done it for like three years. But that's only because I I I would think it's only been you know the past several years that my my palate has opened up a little more. Mm -hmm. So um, it's yeah. nice to continue to evolve it as an artist. Correct. I'm sure. Correct. So from your early musical influences till now, right. boy, you've really run the gamut, it sounds like. Yes. And during COVID, um, when everyone was shut in and didn't have a whole lot else to do, I picked up the guitar and was writing a song a week to the, sing to the songwriter prompts uh, based on what the Southern Songwriters Association had. We'd all decided what to write to. And uh, with... Um, with that inspiration, I was writing about a song a week. That's fantastic. And I realized very quickly that with everyone else's um, encouragement and feedback, I actually had a talent for this. I'd always sung, right. but um, learning guitar was something I came to late in life, and songwriting was something I didn't even know I had a talent for until I started doing it. And um, Well, you yeah. certainly have a talent for it. Oh, thank you, Heather. And I love to hear that during COVID, you were so productive. Mm -hmm. Because for me, COVID was really tough. I'm an actor, and I had just done oh. some theater. And you know, all the theaters shut down. Oh, my gosh. And then you know, I do indie film, and all the indie film sets shut down. And I felt felt very isolated during COVID. So I love that you were able to create during that time period and that the Southern Songwriters Association, were you guys doing vi virtual meetings or we, how, how did you continue on through that time period? We had been meeting once a month for about maybe a year and a year and a half mm -hmm. prior to COVID. And we'd had a Facebook group, how we kept in touch with one another and communicated with one another. Well, um, early April, um, the Steve Simpson put out a message on Facebook that said, well, I guess we're not having a, a meeting this month in 2020. Yeah. And I said, well, there's this thing called Zoom. Um, <laughs> right. I've never been on a Zoom call and I've I've never hosted a Zoom call, but I'd be willing to try. Yeah. So I started. You started hosting it. The Zoom meetings. Oh, well, I, I didn't start that. the SSA, but I, I started hosting the Zoom meetings and immediately we had a fantastic response. I mean, we'd had up to like 29, 30 people in, really? in the Zoom room at once at any one given oh, time I love during the height of COVID. Um, so it was really a way that we were we were able to keep in touch with one another and keep those creative juices flowing. But more importantly, it was just a uh, a way to connect with other human beings. Absolutely. It was, yeah. I mean, I've had more than one people say it was just a, a lifesaver. Yeah. So. Yeah, I was slow to embr embrace Zoom, but once I did, I did some virtual table reads on Zoom and virtual production meetings and virtual auditions and mm -hmm. such, but I still miss that in-person person thing. Right. You know, because I'm kind of an in-the-room person. Well, but once, uh, once COVID abated, we started meeting in person again once a week and now twice I'm sorry, once a month, the first of the month. Yeah. We have, we've met every Monday, 
since April 6, 2020. Oh, you have? Every Monday. We haven't missed a Monday. Oh, my gosh. That's fantastic. So, um, But we have started meeting in person again and have for quite a while now for the first Monday a month and now the third Monday a month. So I love it. Well, we're going to take a quick break. John, did you have any questions for our guests before we take a quick break? Well, I will a- ask you this, uh, uh, Tracy. You said earlier that you had written several songs. Mm-hmm. Now, are your songs, uh, do you have a publishing company where they are published? I'm self-published. I Once I record a song, I put it out on Spotify. I'm Well, I, I put it, I upload it to a site called CD Baby, and you pay them a, a fee, and they put they put your songs out on all of the streaming services. Oh, cool. YouTube, Yeah, Apple. Do you, you get good response from that? I mean, uh, you can look at the data. I, <laughs> I sold like $16.43 worth of songs in the past couple of years, and, and by that, by all accounts, that makes me a professional songwriter there you go <laughs> well, I, I any so. any money at all makes you professional yeah, i make i make tens of dollars doing this <laughs> i love it it's like my acting career i get so excited when i get a residual check you know something i did years ago i'm like oh wow ten dollars and 47 cents right you know i'm what? rich you don't do this for the money you do it for the passion for the love so, yeah, yeah. absolutely okay we're going to take a quick break and then we'll be back with tracy simpson after this well, everyone, you're listening to the Fun Wednesday Morning Show on Fun One Radio. And today in the studio, we have a wonderful guest, Tracy Simpson with the Southern Songwriters Association. For you, Tracy. Mm-hmm. So I, I mentioned that Frank and I had seen you play at Franklin Court Grill. And I think Don may have seen you at Home Brew. Yes. So tell us what you have coming up. Where are you going to be playing? Tell us everything. Yes. Homebrew has become one of my new favorite places to play. Greg and Jennifer are so nice there. They're awesome. Um, yeah, they're wonderful. And um, I've played some solo gigs there, and I've got more coming up. Uh, but uh, they've just asked me on July 13th, which is a Thursday, to host live music trivia for them. Live so, music trivia? Yes, really? Yes. I'll play a few seconds of a song and uh, avoid saying the title and folks will be able to pass up on little slight pieces of paper what the name of the song is and who the artist is each one is worth one point oh i love that well i don't know if you know this but here on the fun wednesday morning show we have not so impossible trivia Mm. every wednesday and we had john and i had a question picked out but i think we're going to change it okay so what we're going to do everybody hope you're listening we're going to let tracy do what she does at the homebrew we're going to have you play a little snippet of a song and then we're going to have callers call in and see if they can identify it and the winner will get a pizza from the exchange pizza depot how's that sound i mean that is that's the best prize ever it's the best prize ever have you had their pizza and their salad oh my gosh well i was just saying earlier we did this saturday night we had the bourbon chicken pizza and it was delicious. And we love Brendan. He, he's he been on our show. And he even brought us a shrimp scampi pizza once, Ooh. which was, oh, my God, my favorite, because I love shrimp scampi. Yeah. So, uh, so yeah, so we'll do that. And, Almost uh, every time uh, my boyfriend Mike and I go to uh, Homebrew, we, we have to get an exchange pizza. And yes. That while we eat, yes. Uh, while we, we, drink. Mm-hmm. we have to. So we're I'm going to let you figure out what song to do. And in the meantime, okay. we're going to hear an original song from Tracy. What do you think, John? Yeah, Does so. that sound good? Good. Yeah, sounds great. So, I like it. so Tracy, if you will introduce the song and then play it for us, that would I be will. lovely. Uh, at the Southern Songwriters Association, we write songs to prompts, and uh, this song was written um, to the prompt: write a song in the style of one of your musical influences. Ah. And um, a little hint: this uh, th- this song uh, has the artist's name inside the song. Ah, so, okay. And then I want to say something else about it, so don't let me forget. Okay. All right, so the name of the song is I Only Want to See You Smile. I only want to see you smile the Gypsy said I had to wait just for a while Nostradamus says it's fate Baby, please don't make me wait I only want to see you smile I only want to see you dance The winter season beckons inward for romance I will sweep you off your feet We'll do the tango in the sheets I only want to see you dance I could wait a thousand lives 
my turn to catch your eye, finally you rise. I've been standing in your shade, and you don't know how I prayed my struggles and my strife. I have told a thousand lies, vows of chastity taught many other guys, but another wears your ring. So I live with that sting, and somehow I'll survive. I only want to see you smile. But Lucifer sees fit to put me through this trial. I know you don't know my name, but I love you just the same. I only want to see you smile. Till the day you come to me To fulfill our destiny I only want to see you smile Yay! Oh, that was beautiful! That's fantastic. Oh, thank oh, you. Tracy, I got the chills. Thank you. And that was inspired by a prompt with the Southern... Mm -hmm. I love that. Yeah. I love that. And I love that you invoked Nostradamus. Yes. That's, I'm, I'm That was fascinated. intentional. The artist that I was... Here, I'll give you more hints over... This, you're getting a twofer trivia Oh, okay. Today. We're, okay. I'm, so, <laughs> I'm going to let I, you guys I, be the first contestants <laughs> for this one. I love this. So uh, <laughs> the, the artist that I was patterning after uses a lot of like esoteric references like Nostradamus uh, because he's a former teacher. Right. Um, he never says shadow he always says shade he writes a lot about winter and he uh, he writes a whole bunch of songs about unhealthy obsessive relationships which is what this song is about right. so anybody got any guesses and his name is in the middle of the song oh i <laughs> I don't want to guess because I I'm not sure. Okay, but maybe uh, and you already know that I'm an '80s kid. Yes, so. yes, this is true. Okay, this is intriguing. I hope our listeners are listening because this maybe can we are the phone lines lighting. Well, up? we can make this as part of our <laughs> trivia because you're still okay. going to do a separate prompt, right? Okay, well let's just so let let's that... make that part of our trivia. I love it. Yeah, but this is evolving, guys. Okay, everybody who's tuning in, this is evolving. This whole trivia thing. Today. Love it. So, so that will be part of the trivia question, and then whatever little snippet of the song you play will be the other part of the trivia okay. question. And if you get both, you get a wonderful pizza okay. from the Exchange Pizza Depot. All right, cool. Well, we're going to give our listeners a second to chew on that. Should we do uh, the weather report from Jen, John, or should we do celebrity birthdays next? What do you think? Well, I, I just saw Jennifer come down from the weather tower, so okay. she has a weather report. So let's see if things are going to shape up for a nice Memorial Day weekend. Sounds good. And here's Jennifer. So you just reminded me of something that would be an excellent segue. Dancing. And I know you're an actor. Right. And the song I just played a few minutes ago, I Only Want to See You Smile. There is an acting troupe in Rock Hill, South Carolina uh, called Main Street Theater. Terry Roush and Carolyn Roush, um, they, they run it. Uh, there is a member of that acting troupe named Susan Demchak. She has written a song that was influenced. I'm sorry. She's written a play. Oh, a play. That was influenced by my song, original <gasps> song, I Only Want to See You Smile. Really? And there is a, a whole thing. And I've even been to the first reading, um, and there's dancing involved in it. And the oh. name of the play is Dream Girl. And I am so excited. I mean, it's it's an honor when anyone covers your song. I've got several friends who cover my songs right. and frankly do it better than I do. Uh, but when someone takes a whole song and turns it into a play there's nothing oh what an honor what an honor that's amazing i want to see this play well you should come act if uh, you're willing to go as far as rock hill i will i'll go i'm in waxhaw so i'm south charlotte well, so come on i'll make it I'll, will you i know people show, will you give me all the details seriously <laughs> i'll introduce you i love it excuse me well let's hear let's hear another song all right great um i'm gonna play a song uh, i'm gonna slow it down a bit and play a song that i actually wrote um to another prompt uh, uh pammy martin is one of our fellow songwriters in our group and she has a son who asked us all to write a song that is 15 words well presumably a song that only has 15 words in it but i took it in a different direction um <coughs> I wrote a song about a couple who, in each verse, talks to one another, and if you can kind of imagine each verse having uh, 
having things in quotation marks because you know they're speaking to one another. In between those quotation marks, there are only 15 words. So Interesting. I don't mean to make the listener do a lot of math, but, you know, it is what it is. So the name of the song is 15 Words. Oh, sorry. Started the wrong song. (laughs) (laughs) What makes you happy? How can I help? Can we do that all our lives? Those 15 words made me fall for you. But in 15 more you said goodbye. Cause you said I just don't feel it I just don't know There surely can't be a surprise In fifteen words I fell But in 15 more you said goodbye How might my twisted up tongue struck dumb Have convinced you to stay You said your peace now I'm in pieces What's there left now to say Were you unhappy How might I've held it have made a difference, made things right. Fifteen words might have calmed you, but in fifteen more you say goodbye, cause you said. I just don't feel it I just don't know I don't pretend to know why In 15 words I fell for you But in Goodbye. Yay! Oh, that was beautiful, Tracy. Thank you. You've got me a little weepy eyed here. Oh, well, oh. then I did my job. You did your job. That was gorgeous. I love it. Yeah, thank oh, you. Oh, my goodness. So, can I plug what, what I'm doing later on yes. tonight? Yes. So, Please I plug got... everything and let our listeners know how they can find your music. You talked about Spotify and YouTube, I... and you just tell us everything. I do have a, we- uh, a YouTube channel called Tracy Simpson Music, and not only do I put my own music out there, I. I go to a lot of live music and I make recordings of um, friends and other people that I enjoy and I put songs of theirs out on YouTube and I always make sure I make a recording of at least one song of people I host in my Carolina Songwriter Showcase which is once a month of the fourth Wednesday of every month and guess what happens to be the fourth Wednesday of every of the month 
What today? Tonight. Today is the fourth. Tonight Wednesday. is the fourth Wednesday of every month. So uh, tonight I'm hosting John Krasan, Rick Spritzer, and Lang Owen. Lang Owen is coming up from Columbia, South Carolina, and he's asked me to sing harmonies on a couple of songs with him. So nice. I am a big fan of singing harmonies for anyone who asks. You do not have to ask me twice. Harmonies oh, are my jam. I love um, harmonies. I have sung harmonies live with tons of people and on the recordings of a lot of folks like David Childers, Steve Simpson, the Brewer Brothers, C.J. Peters, Pammy Martin, Bruce Stevenson, Brian Shoemate. I'm losing count. Oh, my but, gosh. Uh, I, I love lo- this. Uh, love it. Love it. Fabulous. Fabulous. So that's tonight. Mm-hmm. And where is it? And it's not only just a songwriter showcase, it's an open mic. Oh, it's open mic night. So, you know, so put on the songwriter, put on the sign up sheet that you heard us on the Fun One Radio, and I'll see if I can get you a t shirt or something. Oh, I like that. <laughs> oh, I that. Yes. So, very anyway, nice. it's a Starlight on 22nd, which is in the North Davidson area of Charlotte. And so it's on 22nd. Like Noda? Street. Noda. Noda. Mm-hmm. Got it. So, cool, very yeah. cool, eclectic, artsy area up it, there. And this is one of this place fits right into that vibe. Perfect. Yeah. yeah. So bring your instrument and come on. And the first hour and a half will be the songwriter showcase, and the the rest of the night will just be open mic. And you can do anything. You don't have to sing songs. You I'm can, not musical, right. but but you know I do a poetry. It, could I do a poetry? <laughs> yes. You know, we have like had a poetry do, slam. Of course, <laughs> we have definitely had people do poetry. We've really? had people read a chapter out of their new books. We've had people. Um, rap. We've had, I mean, we haven't had anybody spin plates yet or do train ducks, but that is, <laughs> but as long as they're possible. potty trained, yeah. yes, bring it. <laughs> bring it. Bring it. Oh, I love it. That's awesome. And tell us again about the, the trivia that you host um, at Homebrew. Well, I've actually, I've been to the trivia there and it was so much fun and I was so enthusiastic and I was honored when Greg reached out to me and asked me to host it because the current host, um, she's back and forth between Charlotte or the uh, Monroe and um, and Manhattan actually so I, he could tell I was having just so much fun with it and you know you've heard me all this this interview I'm I'm pretty much a ham so he knew I would <laughs> connect with the audience pretty well uh, so yeah so he asked me if I could host on on July 13th and I said absolutely and I have been working on this set um, since then Wow. Uh, but I, I want to make it a little harder than than she did um, because most of the folks were able to write on the slip of paper who the artist was and what the name of the song was and send it up to the front pretty pretty quickly. Um, so I, I think I'd like to make it a little a little harder. Okay. Well, have you thought about what song you're going to tease for our trivia today? I have. Okay. And I want to give folks a little heads up that um, in order to make this a little harder, I think I'm only going to play the bridge. And I might even do that um, at Trivia Night on July 13th. Um, Sounds good. And, you know, this is the test run. So I might sing a few of the the lines. I might sing a few of the words. I don't know. We'll see. All right, guys. So listeners, this is our Not So Impossible trivia for today. Tracy's going to play the bridge and maybe sing a few lyrics. If you recognize the song, you can give us a call at 704-289-9303. And the prize today is a wonderful, delicious pizza from the Exchange Pizza Depot. So go for it, Tracy. Which, Which you can eat when you come to Homebrew for live music Yes, there you go. On the 13th There you go. July. Perfect. You got a nice white, sorry. You got a nice white dress and a party on your confirmation. I'm singing it in the wrong key. I, I, I recognize it though. <laughs> I'm proud of myself. Wait a because Give me a I, second. If I could call in, I would get it. You know what? <laughs> I've got it. The live I've music. I've got it. Uh, yeah, definitely I need to practice this. Yeah, just if you'll do that one line one more time, I think somebody will get it. Well. And here's the number to call, y'all. 704-289-9303. Tracy is singing a song. And if you can guess the title of the song, you win a pizza from the Exchange Pizza Depot. 
You got a nice white dress and a party on your confirmation. You got a brand new soul. Ooh, and a cross of gold. But Virginia, they didn't give you quite enough information. You didn't count on me when you were counting on your rosary. Whoa, whoa. Okay, that's a good hint. Now, you got the song, right? I, I, it immediately popped into my head. Oh, okay. So, um, if you know the song that Tracy just teased, give us a call at 704 289 9303. And if you can give us the title, the artist, whatever you can give us, you win a delicious pizza. From the Exchange Pizza Depot. Okay, so if you if you know the song, if you know or the, the song artist, or the artist, one. either one, mm, okay. you win a pizza. Yeah, seven zero four two eight nine nine three zero three. Yes, seven zero four two eight nine W D Z D. That's right. It spells yeah. it out. Yeah, it spells it out. I hope somebody recognized that because I recognized it immediately. Well, aren't the phone lines just the lighting phone up? lines should be lighting Looks up like right a telethon now. over here? <laughs> what year was that from? Oh, gosh. Um, I'm going to say 84, maybe. Oh, okay. Somebody's calling. Uh, Ooh, right. Yay. Well, we thought we'd throw that out as a clue. Yes, that helps. Hey, good morning. You're on the phone one. Who we got here? Uh, Mike. Mike. Hi, Mike. Oh, good morning, Mike. It's Billy Joel, only the good die young. Yay. Ding, 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 ding. Congratulations, Mike. Yeah. Good, good job. Are you a Billy Joel fan? Not really. <laughs> but you well, recognize least, the well, song. Well, at least you're honest, Mike. At least you, you got the song. Yeah. So, so Mike, you've got a great prize. You have a free pizza from the Exchange Pizza Depot right here in downtown Monroe. Have you ever had their pizza before, Mike? No. It's delish. You're going to thoroughly enjoy it. You're going to love it. Yeah. Yeah, and they have a weekly special every week. Uh, this past week, it was a bourbon chicken pizza. That was amazing. And uh, we call Brendan Saganic the, the pizza Picasso down there because he's an artiste. Yeah. So you're going to love it. So if you wouldn't mind just staying on the line, John is going to get your information. And in the meantime, we're going to go to a break, right? Yeah, uh, we're going to yeah. do that. But now, now Mike, uh, I think uh, Heather was trying to sell you on the bourbon and chicken pizza. <laughs> yes, it was delicious. Yeah, okay. Yeah, so when when you go in to pick it up, just tell them to leave off the chicken. Oh, just straight bourbon. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Congratulations, Mike. Stay on the line for yeah, us, Hang on the line, Mike. We'll right. get a little info from him. We'll see that you get that gift card, okay? Tracy Simpson is our guest in the studio with us uh, this morning, and we've had uh, quite a quite a time with uh, some great music. And, uh, Tracy, uh, uh, time's running out here. So, I know. This uh, hour we're, we're has We're going to talk by. a little more, but I want to say thank you so much for being with us here thank this you. morning. Thank you. Thank you for having you, me. Tracy. This has been so much fun. It really has been. And they call us the fun one for a reason, oh, you right? You know what? I can vouch for that. Yay. Thank you so much. Thanks. And if you would, please, just one more time for listeners, um, remind them about, I know this is the fourth Wednesday of the month, so... Mm-hmm. Let everybody know what's going on tonight, and then also tell us again about the trivia coming up in July. Yes, fourth Wednesday of every month is the Carolina Songwriters Showcase, and that is at Starlight on 22nd in North Davidson in Noda. And it's not just a showcase of songwriters, it is also an open mic. So uh, come on down with whatever talent you would like to present to everyone. Um, That is something I've been enjoying hosting for a little over maybe a year and a half now i inherited that from mr david childers um who is another great wonderful singer songwriter in the area i don't know if you've had him on yet but we have not but i have heard about him what about douglas thompson have you had Doug not thompson yet on? we have such a list going oh this yeah is so much fun There's all these great local musicians steve simpson no relation to me i, I was going to ask you if you're related to steve no simpson. no relation to okay me, but we know yes yeah, he's on our list as well everyone asks that yes <laughs> i was going to ask that so anyway yeah I mean, awesome. I could go on and on with who, who you probably ought to yeah. reach out to because not only is this a great uh, way for you guys to support local music, it's just for us, it's just a crazy amount of fun. So Yay. Yes. We're so glad you came. Thank you. And, um, yeah, Tom Rita and I as a duo TNT, we play at a lot of Harris Teeters and, like, Moochie's Grill and a lot of private parties. So, um, But, you know, he's got a page called Tom Rita Music, and we post a lot of gigs on there. Um, so yeah, yeah, and they can find you on YouTube, Tracy Simpson mm-hmm. Music, Tracy Simpson, and Spotify as well. Uh, yeah, Spotify, iTunes Music, pretty much. You know, if CD Baby's doing their job right, any of your favorite streaming services. Great. Although I have trouble finding myself on Pandora. 
Really? Yeah, I'm going to have to write them a strongly worded letter. <laughs> you should. You should. <laughs> and you'll be hosting trivia July 13th at Homebrew? Is I will right? be. Okay. Right. And that was fun. I like I like doing trivia that way today, having yeah. you play a little bit of a song and having a listener recognize it and call in. So thank that was you. awesome. Thanks for having me. Yeah. Yes. Well, thank you for coming. Mm-hmm.